we are back, the week of the Women Tell All. Welcome to Rose Recap. I'm your love expert, Deanna Pappas. And I am your TV expert, Nicole Seidman. The Women Tell All was full of goody, goody goodness. Tons mm -hmm. of drama, tons of eye rolling, tons of tears. It was just the Women Tell All at its best. Oh yeah, what more could you ask for? Uh, how about Ashley H looking amazing? Her hair was long and brown. She had juicy red lips. She was looking so hot. I'm thinking she should have come on to the season looking this way because we know Brad likes his brunettes. And let me tell you, I think he liked what he saw last night too. You are right, Nicole. Yeah. She came back with a vengeance. When I came back from my Women Tell All with Brad, mm -hmm. my main concern was to look smoking hot. And I tell you what, Ashley H, you nailed it. Girl, you looked good. Way to get him back for sending uh -huh. you home. Nothing better than looking good for an ex. And also, even though she seemed a little bit sad because she feels like she had some regrets from the show, like maybe she sabotaged the relationship a little bit, um, not purposely, of course, but I still think she had a study disposition and she looked like she learned her lesson. And I'm thinking that maybe Ashley would be a good bachelorette. I totally feel like Yep. From last night's Women Tell All, mm -hmm. they were setting her up as prime bachelorette material. And you know what, Nicole? Yeah. If it's not Emily, let's take Ashley H because she is super fun. And I think she'd do great. I do, too. I would love to watch her on a full season like that. Michelle, you know you're next, baby. Oh. We got to talk about her. Oh, we were hoping she would tell all, and she did, but she cried. She was crushed. I mean, do you think that she was so upset because the girls were being kind of brutal to her, or? You know what? I really, really wanted to see some of those fun, juicy one-liners from, from Michelle, but all we got was tears last yes. night. I'll tell you what, my heart went out to Me her too. because it was brutal to watch. I do think that she came off a little rough on the show and some yeah. of the girls didn't like the way that she talked about them but let's be honest it was sarcastic and I enjoyed yes. seeing Michelle Money on my TV every Monday night on The Bachelor. It was amazing and great to watch. I totally agree. I'm obsessed with her. I love her snarky comments. I even like seeing her vulnerable side but you know what the thing was is the girls that were being so mean to her were the girls that didn't even know her. They were girls like Stacy, who I'm like were you even on the show? Like why are you being so mean? Do you even know Michelle? How early did Stacy go home? Like right. how do you even know who Michelle is? Yeah and Jackie who would oh. not shut her mouth last night. Nicole, one of my biggest pet peeves are the girls who come back on the Women Tell All. Mm -hmm. They don't do anything or say anything the entire <laughs> yes. season. And then they come back to the Women Tell All and just run their mouth nonstop. Jackie, that's not the way to go. We, uh -uh. Don't, we don't want to remember you as that mean girl at the Women Tell All. Hater. Come on, girl. Yeah, I totally agree. And um, the ones that knew Michelle really well, though, seemed to really like her and get her sarcasm. Even Brad said that he got that she was being sarcastic and funny and snarky. And you know what? Like we said, it made for amazing TV. Michelle Money, I hope to see you again soon because I just love her. Me too. Yes. Me too. And Brad was on of course last night seeming very 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 smitten and happy and in love. He Don't you think? great. Love suits yeah. him well. He looked great on the outside and you could just see every bit of his heart shining on the outside. I he was wonderful. He seemed so joyful. He seemed so in love. He seemed like he was happy to be there, and that was a great side of Brad to see. I totally agree. Another great side of Brad to see was when they showed those like little, they weren't really bloopers, but those outtakes that we never saw before, when everybody was just loose and funny, and Brad, that was such a good side to see of Brad, don't you think? I agree. Yeah. I wish that we had seen more of that on yeah. this season of The Bachelor, because Brad is a very fun guy, mm -hmm. and you know what? It was good to see, even if we just got a few little snippets of it. Deanna, is that the side of Brad that you know? I know a little bit of that, Brad. Yeah, so you knew it was there. <laughs> All right, well, oh, we have got to talk we about. We have got to talk about. Yes. We are so excited to talk about this. The clips from the New York reunion and the LA reunion. Man, oh man, was <laughs> it just every past <laughs> contestant fighting for the most airtime oh, yeah. possible? It, it was, was wild. Great. Yes, if Bachelor Pad 2 is anything like those reunions where, you know, Vienna and her BFF are fighting or who, we don't know who's going to be on. But let me tell you, if it is as juicy as those clips were, I cannot wait for it to start. That brings us straight Great to the poll question of the week. Who would you like to see from Brad's season of The Bachelor on the next season of Bachelor Pad 2? Drop your answers at wwwdiana pappascom You know my vote. Michelle. Michelle. <laughs> of course. All right, you guys, that's all we have for today. For more reality show recaps, check out my blog, www.hotmomspot.blogspot.com. And we will see you next week after the final rose. I can't wait to find out who gets it. It's oh. going to be so good. I'm so excited. Emily. Chantal, <laughs> we'll see you next week with your Rose Recap.